cooking? What you gotta cooking? What you gotta cook it? 'Cause I'm hoping hard it be me hiding in your favorite recipe. Hi, I'm Jill Ferris, and this is Cooking for Bachelors. We're in our new kitchen studio in Red Hook, Brooklyn. Today, we're bringing you guacamole. So, how do you make guacamole? Well, avocado. I have some fresh cut scallions. You can use onions if you like. I like this taste of scallion that is crisp and green. I have some jalapenos and some tomatoes. These are Kumato tomatoes. Uh, they're a brown tomato. This was the freshest one I found today. I like to use the red ones because it adds more color. I have some fresh squeezed lime juice and some seasoning. So we're gonna cut up our avocado. Now avocado is a fruit, you know, actually. And most of the time you buy it, it's a little bit hard. You need to ripen it. Oh, well, look at that. Our seed did not just appear, but let me just taste to make sure this is ripe enough to use today. Mmm, mmm, delicious. I know, I should change my spoon, but since I'm cooking for myself in here, I'm not. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scoop out all of this delicious avocado. What do you call it, meat? You call it avocado meat? There we go. I'm going to remove the pit by using our knife skills. <laughs> you know I have this problem in every video I make. So we're having a little stubbornness here. Would you believe that? All right, great. So we're going to have to just work around it because you know what? This is a cooking show, but stuff happens in the kitchen and it's not always perfect. That's right, so you're gonna have to deal with what you deal with, and you might as well see what it looks like when you don't have perfection. Really, when you're dealing with food, there's so many variables all the time. Now, what I'm gonna to talk to you about the avocado. The avocado is has a lot of um, oil in it. It's a fatty fruit. It's also very, very good for you. And you know, people used to like not eat avocados when they were dieting because they felt that it was not, it was too fattening. But the truth is that fat is actually helps you and it will make you feel full and it has great nutrients in it and fiber. Do you love all that? So we're just gonna mash it up with a fork here. Whoops, I see a little piece of the peel. We don't want that in there, nope. Just gonna mash it up. So it's very high in vitamin E. It's great oils and it's great for you know your skin and for making you feel full. Not only is that, but it's absolutely delicious. Okay, I'm gonna add a little lime juice. And this is again when I say I have two limes in here, you're gonna get different amount um, of juice from a lime depending on how ripe it is. We're just going to start that and soften it up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my tomato. Back over here. I'm going to cut up my tomato in the smallest possible pieces. So how do you do that? Well, one is have a really good knife. So I've got this little paring knife, and believe it or not, it is my sharpest knife. Yep. It's my sharpest tool in the shed. And I'm going to carefully cut little pieces uh, in a cross section turn it around and cut some more. Yeah, I know, do you love these knife skills? Okay, so we cut up our tomato, and I really think that for the one avocado, a half of this small tomato is going to be good. It doesn't have a lot of seeds, and it's very firm, so that's very nice. Use my knife, scoop it up. jalapeno, I'm going to cut this up. I don't think I'm going to use all of it. Um, it's a fairly spicy one. It's better to me out of the way. And I'm going to cut that also in very small pieces. So it gives it the flavor. You don't want to bite on a large chunk. And um, when you're working with jalapenos, remember to wash your hands. Just be careful. I use my fingers a lot in the kitchen. I am not an appliance person, and of course this is um, my kitchen, so, <laughs> so it's okay to touch the food. If you're working in a professional kitchen, you're not going to. I cut this scallion in little ringlets.
ringlets, but what I'm going to do, ringlets, really Jill, little slices, but I'm going to cut it even finer. And I also have a habit of not putting everything into my final cut because I realize, oh, I might have cut up too much and that's going to be enough, both of the jalapenos and this. So, let me get rid of my cutting board. Okay, so we have all our ingredients in the bowl so far. I'm going to add a little more lime juice. Get that going. Start blending. And, um, you, you know, you can choose different ways. I like this to be a little bit chunky, which is why I'm using a fork. You wouldn't want to use a blender or anything like that because it'll become totally mush. And then we're going to add a little bit of salt. This is Himalayan pink salt. And I have some cumin. Just a pinch. Of course, depending on what you like, you might want to put a little more. And a little cayenne pepper. If you have jalapenos in there, you, want, you don't want to be generous. You want to be very sparse with that. And you keep tasting it to see how you like it. Just mix it around. There you go. Use your fork to mash it up. Do I like this consistency? That's very nice. Let me taste. A little more salt. That is a nice um, amount of lime juice. And it looks like I only used one, one lime juice worth. Okay, so that's really nice. If you're eating it yourself, you might want to just use this bowl. But of course, if you're serving it, you're going to want to transfer it to another bowl. So it's pretty, and you don't see all the schmutz on the side. Fork down. Some of my like favorite little pizza chip crackers. You can use any kind of crackers. You can use corn chips or tor tortillas, tostitos, whatever they are. <laughs> I like pizza chips. And our guacamole is ready for our, a tasting. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> 